Would you stop this shit? Man, chill the fuck out. I'll answer it. Fuck. I bet you they've seen the car. Hang on there. Damn lock's a little bit still. Um, can I help you? Uh, have you got room for one more in there? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's fine, you're not from around here. This is what they call a bothy. You know, like a mountain refuge for people to take shelter when the night's drawing. Oh, shit. We didn't realize that's how it worked. Is it open to anyone? Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's generally the case. How many do you have? Just three. For God's sake, Chris, let him in. Sure. I'm sure you can tell me what happened in the morning. Gary yeah, was an eye. Oh, I'm Chris, by the way. Oh, and this is my sister, Heather. We Scottish friend Nicholas. How did you find this place? Oh, I was passing and seeing the light from the road. Must be fate. <laughs> What's your name? It's uh, Gary. So Gary, what are you doing up here at this time of year? If you don't mind me asking. Did you lose your way? I was hunting. Didn't even realise it was hunting season. Oh yeah, it's just begun. What do you hunt? Oh, mostly tourists. <laughs> I 
No, I'm just kidding. I hunt whatever I can catch. You fancy a drink? Oh no, I'm sorry I don't drink. Really? It's a who doesn't drink. Well be. <laughs> yeah, I know it rather goes against the grain, doesn't it? So what are you guys doing here? Just visiting. Well, he isn't. <laughs> no, I'm uh, showing them around. Oh, that's very kind of you. I take it you don't hunt. Does hunting for desperate women count? If so, these two are prize winners. Yeah, well, they don't come any more desperate than you. We've got enough left in the travel kettle if you want one, Gary. Sure, that'd be nice. Alrighty then. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. Say, did you guys date your car? Yeah. It's fine. It's a hired car. Road kill, yeah? Yeah. There's a lot of that up here, it seems. Yeah, I could take a look at that for you. If you want. Sure. Fair creature. a hundred times, Nick. Chill out. What if we get pulled over, Chris? Bahu, there's nobody up here but sheep and mountains. Let's see if you can hit a hundred. Oh, that's just crazy. Oh, here we go. Thanks, Chris. It's getting pretty cold out there. Mm. You know, I could teach you guys how to hunt. If you're interested. I'm sure, but isn't it a bit late to be venturing outside, though? I can teach you right here. How do you plan on doing that? Mm. Chess. Not being funny, but don't you need a chessboard to play chess? Oh, I've got one in my bag. You carry a chess bulb with you? I always carry one. I find it's the best way of getting to know people, Chris. Excuse me, miss. Yes. The girl at the desk said to speak with you. I'm Detective Doyle. 
We're following up an investigation into suspected hit and run of an unidentified male. He was brought in three days ago, but he was heavily sedated when we arrived. We're just checking to see if there's any update. Yes, I'm just about to check on him now. He's stabilised, but he may still be groggy from the sedative, so just don't expect too much from him. Belongings are gone. He must have checked himself out. But how did he get past the girl at the desk? I have no idea. By what you're suggesting, he was in no fit state to be going anywhere. Well, so I thought. What were the extent of his injuries? Cracked and fractured ribs, bruising and swelling to the face, lacerations to the arms and hands, and heavy bruising to the shins. Rather remarkable, considering the car accident. I don't know that's what happened to him yet. Did they have any identification? No, nothing. I mean, I checked his bag, his clothes, no ID, no driver's licence, not even a wallet. The only thing I did notice was faded writing on his rucksack, which said Mr Gary Peer, spelt with an I rather than a Y. An I? That's unusual. Could be foreign, I suppose. If I could just check with the other patients, see if they may have seen something. They've all been heavily sedated too, I'm afraid. Well, that's not much to go on. But thanks for your time anyway, miss. I'll just check with the girl at the desk, see if she may have seen anything. Here, if you can think of anything else, please call me. Thanks. Right. Is that everything from the car? Just a bag left with the passports and stuff in it. Just leave it. Probably safer locked in the trunk than in this brick shit house. I thought you wanted rugged countryside and fresh air. Sure was my first choice. Where is the whiskey? In that bag. this again. Jesus, that's the police. I know it is. Would you stop this shit? Man, chill the fuck out. I'll answer it. Fuck. I bet you they've seen the car. Hang on there. Damn lock's a little bit stiff. Didn't you stop? Ah, oh, shit. Look at the dent in the car. Oh, God. Why didn't you stop? You clearly saw him. You never even swear. I, I, I thought it was an animal or something, like, like a deer. Bullshit. You fucking saw him. All right, calm down. I thought he would just jump out the way, dumbass. What was I supposed to do? Even if I tried to stop, I still would have hit him. Guys, 
Gas, come here. Oh, man. What did we do? Shit, Heather, I, I don't know. I'm sure he's all right. Of course he's not all right. I told, I told you to slow down. Calm the fuck down, all right? There ain't no witnesses, and it could be weeks before anyone finds him. We won't even be in the country by then. I will. I say we phone an ambulance. We'll use a sat nav to figure out the name of the road. It came out of nowhere. It's like you said. There's no witnesses. It was and an what? accident. Do you want to get arrested? Because I sure as hell don't want to go to prison in this country. What if he's dead, Nicholas? We could be up for manslaughter charges. And on top of that, we've got the car to deal with. Are you serious? We've got the fucking car to deal with? Are you insane? You just ran over someone! You call an ambulance if you want to, but we're getting out of here. It makes sense. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. And who do we say is calling the ambulance, Chris? Chris, 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 Chris. We were passing by, and we just found him. Fuck! I can't believe you guys have been playing for so long. Ah, well, once I hit my stride, Chris. Yeah, don't rub it in. You underestimate Nicholas. I've got you on the ropes, too. Just leave it. <sighs> you never know what someone has in their hand, though, Nicholas. This is chess, not cards. All the pieces are on the table, clear as day, my friend. But sometimes not all the cards are on the table, my friend. It's too early in the morning for you fuckers to be talking in rules. Hey, come on now. Don't swear. There's no need for that. You don't cuss? No. You have a beautiful accent. Please don't spoil it. Dude, are you hitting on my sister right in front of me? <laughs> hitting on her? Yeah, like chatting her up. No, no, no. I've got my queen right here on the board. I'll protect her till the death. <laughs> okay, champ.
Hello, is that Detective Doyle? Speaking. Hi there. Sorry to bother you on Christmas Eve. I wasn't sure whether or not I would catch you. We spoke a few days ago when you visited the hospital. Is this Nurse Emily? Yes, it is. It's all right, miss. I was working late anyway. What can I do for you? You don't happen to have a copy of today's paper handy at all. Yeah, I should do it somewhere. You seen the man in the front? Yes, I see him. Well, that's the man. That was the man that was here. Remember the one we couldn't find? The one we thought was in a car accident? Are you quite sure? Yes. Oh, that face has been haunting me all week. And, and, and then when I saw the paper... Good game. You fucking psycho! What did I tell you about using bad language? If I hear one more expletive past your lips, you're dead! Oh. What the hell did you do that for, man? Oh, it's just disgusting, really, that language. I knew you were that guy from the fucking road! are inside. You're not going to get very far without your vehicle! Stay under this bridge. 
Chris, I've been shot. It's all right. It's just a grace. You got the knife? Right here. Stay here, baby. I'm gonna kill this fucker. I love it when you talk wild. Be right back. Morning's coming. Are you? Chris, are you all right? You down, but to go. Uh, Your brother, he didn't know how to use that knife. No, but I had to. Good work, baby. Merry Christmas. Don't hunt what you can't kill, motherfucker. First kill. How does it feel? Fantastic. I 
Has anybody on seen Nova? Checkmate, motherfucker. Despite appearing to have suffered other injuries, including gunshot and knife wounds, all three victims are believed to have died in the explosion at about 9.15 yesterday evening in the bothy behind me. Early reports from detectives on the scene suggest that one of the bodies may be that of a recent hit and run victim they'd been keen to speak to in connection with another investigation. Did you get all that? Three bodies have been recovered from a body in the Scottish Highlands after a suspected explosion in the early hours of yesterday morning. All three victims are believed to have died in the blast, with investigators working to determine what triggered the explosion. Reports suggest that one of the bodies may be that of a hit and run victim who disappeared from a hospital in Inverness a week ago. Coincidentally, the man wanted in connection with the suspected murder of two backpackers who were found dead on a forest trail in Perthshire last July. Detectives have since recovered charred fragments of a bag that they believe belonged to the man, along with several items of clothing and various suitcases with the inscription, Dead Hunters Cult Texas, inked into the fabric. Our correspondent on the scene has more details of yesterday's incident. Cheers, Nurse Emily.
Captain there, sir. Can I help you? Ah, uh, it's just... Returning the car. Yeah. Um, and your name is? Ah, uh, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, Actually, do you have some identification? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, more. Okay. What if he's dead, Nicholas? You call an ambulance if you want to, but we're getting out of here. And, uh, is this your signature here, Chris? Who do we say is calling the ambulance, Chris? Yeah, that's me. I'm Chris. Yeah. So is everything okay with the car? Sure. Have a nice time? Oh, I had a fantastic time. No, I'm headed back to Kentucky now. Scottish winter is getting a little bit too cold for me. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Okay, that's us all done here, sir. Great, thanks. Y'all have a great day now. I'll come back and see y'all real soon. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, and, uh, call me Chris. Yeah. the place I belong West Sardinia I wanna go there Take me home